Snowmobile fans traveled to Pequot Lakes from around the Midwest and Canada this past weekend. In this week's Northwoods Adventure, Shane Lee scopes out the old sleds at the 20th Annual Antique Snowmobile Rendezvous. The Antique Snowmobile Club strives to preserve snowmobiles and the history and tradition that rides along with them. Before TV, before cell phones, before Xboxes, people really wanted to celebrate the weekend by getting out and having fun. Snowmobiles provide fun now, but work supplied the original motive for the snow machines in the 1950s. This year's feature sleds were built by Mike Bosick in Broken Head, Manitoba to facilitate his outdoor activities. Traveling in the outdoors was very, very important to him, and, and back in those days there wasn't the machine that you could buy to travel on snow, so through the need of necessity, uh, he created the Bosick Power Toboggan. They were not fast, they were stodgy, they were powerful. Think of hunters trappers. Some of these machines were owned by dentists or doctors and mail carriers because over the snow transport was a real challenge for anybody in the snowbelt states. Mike Bosick built his Bosick power toboggans from 1949 through 1965 using a lot of farm parts and Ford Model A three-speed transmissions with a reverse. The machines featured V-belts instead of the more popular centrifugal clutch press a lever and this motor would move forward or backward and the springs would bring it the other way so it was the motor whole motor off it was spring loaded to tighten up the two v-belts talking about sleds is great but riding sleds provides much more excitement as this reporter can attest this 1958 players ranger handles a little bit more like a boat than a sled but i gotta say it's one heck of a ride it's neat to uh, kind of relive that type of technology back then and uh, and race it Snowmobilers competed in drag races, oval races, and reverse races for the sleds equipped with reverse. A formula involving race time and machine year, weight, and horsepower determined the winner. Krawchuk says maintaining the old sleds requires surprisingly little effort. There's a couple drive belts on them. You know, those are easy to change. Um, so they're very, very low maintenance. Good news for people who want to ride the old sleds for years to come. Shane Lee, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.